Hello friends. Welcome back to my channel Calibration Academy. If you are new to this channel, and if you have missed our previous videos related to the top 30 instrumentation questions and answers, you can find a link in the description box to watch this video. And if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, then please subscribe to our channel, and press the bell icon to get notifications. In today's video, we're going to dive into the world of communication protocols. Communication protocols are essentially a set of rules that govern how data is transmitted between devices. Several different types of protocols are used in different applications, ranging from simple protocols used in home automation systems to more complex ones used in industrial control systems. By the end of this video, you'll have a better understanding of the different types of communication protocols and how they work. So let's get started. First of all, let's start with one basic question which is, what are communication protocols? Communication protocols are a set of rules that allow two or more electronic devices to connect and exchange data with each other. They have proper descriptions of digital message formats and rules. In the field of process automation, there are seven most commonly used communication protocols. The first type of communication protocol is the RS-232. The second type of communication protocol is RS-485. The third type of communication protocol is Modbus. The fourth type of communication protocol is Profibus. The fifth type of communication protocol is Profinet. The sixth type of communication protocol is Hart. The seventh type of communication protocol is Ethernet TCP IP. In this video, I will cover the first two communication protocols and the rest of the communication protocols will be covered in the second and third parts of the video series. Let's start with the RS-232 communication protocol. RS-232 is a standard protocol used for serial communication. It is used for connecting a computer and its peripheral devices to allow serial data exchange between them. It uses a binary system to transmit data in ASCII format. A PLC serial port is used for the transmission and reception of data. It works by sending and receiving voltage. Normally a high bit is represented by a voltage of minus 12 volt. The low bit is represented by a voltage of plus 12 volt. RS-232 is used in serial communication up to 50 feet with a rate of 1.492 kilobits per second. Now, let's learn, how does it work? RS-232 works on the two-way communication that exchanges data with one another. In the RS-232 protocol, data transmission equipment and data communication equipment have pins like DXD, RXD, RTS, and CTS. From the DTE source, the RTS generates the request to send a signal. Then from the other side data communication equipment, CTS clears the path for receiving data. After clearing a path, it will give a signal to the RTS of the DTE source to send the signal. Then the bits are transmitted from the data transmission equipment to the data communication equipment. Similarly, when DCE acts as a source, the RTS generates the request to send a signal. Then from the other side data transmission equipment, CTS clears the path for receiving data. After clearing a path, it will give a signal to the RTS of the DCE source to send the signal. Then the bits are transmitted from the data transmission equipment to the data communication equipment. Let's learn, what is RS-485 communication protocol? RS-485 is a duplex communication system in which multiple devices on the same bus can communicate in both directions. In other words, RS-485 is a multi-drop and two-wire type of communication that allows us to communicate with multiple devices at the same time. The main difference between RS-232 and RS-485 is that up to 32 transmitter-receiver pairs may be present on the line at one time on RS-485 and a 120 ohm resistor must be used to terminate the main line. It is used in serial communication up to 1200 meters with 100 kilobits per second speed. Many PLCs allow connecting up to 128 slave nodes. By using repeaters, several devices and nodes can be extended. 
RS-485 can be used as a two-wire or four-wire network. The four-wire network is bidirectional and a two-wire network is unidirectional. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope this video is helpful for you. Please give us your valuable feedback in comment box. And if you have any questions about this video, then please feel free to ask me your questions in comment box. And please like and share this video with your friends if you think our content is informative for you and others.